What's up, y'all? Nappy Foo all up on your screen. And today is another That Nap Life video and a dab of nap chat. We're going to do a little chit chatting about knots and tangles and our kinky, coily hair. And I'm going to show you how I like to re moisturize and stretch my hair during the week. Now, let me just say, I think it's kind of simple how I do it, but you be the judge. Nappy Foo checking in. Let go. So what had happened was your girl hair, well, the ends of my hair got tangled. Y'all know how I always tell y'all the ends of our hair, they're like very loyal to each other. So anytime you allow them to shrink, they don't want to let each other go. But if you keep it stretched, it's just less hassle for you. I didn't keep my hair stretched though. I just let it air dry. That shrunkenization came on in there like, hey, finally she slipped up. <laughs> Anyway, so before I begin with the moisturizing and the stretching part, I just got a quick little announcement, you know, a little story time, and I hope it helps y'all. If I can say real quick, for anyone who lets their hair just stay like this, y'all see how this, like you let it stay like this, and you have issues with tangles and single strand knots, this is probably why. This is not how 4C hair should stay. People might argue with me on this, you might not agree with me on this, it's perfectly fine. 4C hair has to be stretched. As I stand here before you with my hair not fully stretched, I get it, practice what you preach, I understand. But I know how to rectify the situation. It's gonna be stretched now. So keeping my hair like this forever and always, and then I complain about breakage and knots and all the other hoopla, it doesn't make sense. I wanna say that real quick. If you always have your hair like this and you have issues with breakage and, and knots and stuff like that, this is probably why. So find a way to keep those, especially these ends especially the ends of your hair. You see, I only had it like this. Only had it like this, maybe four or five hours. Let's see what that tangle life looking like. I have a tangle right here already. Already, y'all. Already, that's the tangle right in here. Can y'all see that? I only had my hair out of this ponytail because I had a ponytail, it was braided. I unbraided it, then my braid was wet. I, I, didn't, I didn't leave it, I didn't put it back in a braid, I just let it dry like that. So of course my hair shrunk up. This is same day, it's not like I had like this all week, it's the same day, okay y'all? And I already have a tangle. I have tangles in my ends that shrunk all together. Type four hair is different okay is <laughs> different it's different it is if someone talks about tangles you will win that race someone talks about knots you will win that race you feel me it's a characteristic of type 4 hair accept it and learn how to work against it not with it when i say with it that means you letting stuff like this happen on a regular basis you let, that means you letting these issues happen to you. I ain't nobody's mama. I'm just saying y'all like, it, cause I be like, I love my hair, but y'all my hair, it's like, I'm so loyal to you contour and you still be giving me stuff like this. Like you can't for one day, let me slip up and you not get knotted up. I'm just saying contour, like for one day we can't. And she's like, no, forever in a day, you're gonna have to take care of me the right way. Oh, I just rhymed, oh my gosh. Okay. I will part my hair down the middle. I will take my hair as is. So with my hair being dry right now, I'm not gonna try to work through these knots right now. Okay, I'm not. I'm just gonna take my spritz and I'm gonna focus on the ends. So because I do have another video that talks about re-moisturizing my hair, during the week i won't go into so much detail in this video okay i want to encourage you to check out the link in the description box also in the top right hand corner you will see a link to it as well and maybe some other videos i would love for you to check out so all i do is work that water into that section then i'm going to split that section up okay i was not going to do this when it was dry because it was just too dry i mean i, I can't do it i can't do her like that you feel me so all i'm going to do is work my spritz more into my hair in my spritz is just water, aloe vera juice, and green tea matcha powder. I will have a video coming soon on how I make it. So now I'm gonna take my butter, and I mean, that was my cream. This is my butter, and I'm gonna mix it all together. 
I know the TGIN says butter cream, but it worked to me, it's more of the cream. Now y'all, if y'all been rocking with me for a minute, you know your girl is a ride or die chick for Giovanni direct leaving, but didn't have that with me, okay? TGIN is a um, the buttercream. It's a good runner up. They also have their own leave-in conditioner too, made with um, green tea in it, but I didn't have that as well. So I do mix it together. You see how I'm kind of putting the butter and the cream, and I'm just mixing it onto my hair. That is fine, y'all. I know you're thinking like it goes onto your hair as you layer it, but honestly, it mixes all up once it hits your hair. So if you want to just combine your butter and your cream together, don't feel bad about it. It's okay. As long as it's getting onto that hair and your hair feels moisturized afterwards, you are a-okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't sit there confused. I know you like, well, let, let. <laughs> Look, I already actually have a video recorded that explains what I just said. It explains it further. So if you're not subscribed so far, go ahead and hit subscribe and hit that bell so you can be notified when that video is up on your screen and we can talk about it further, okay? But I will leave you with this. Underneath a microscope, the sequence in which we apply our moisturization, liquid oil cream or liquid butter cream, what have you, it doesn't stay in those layers on our hair. It gets all mixed up. So that's why I said what I just said, and I'm going to explain it further in a future video. So make sure you subscribe, okay, y'all? All right, let's get back to this video. So now what I'm going to do is go into the stretch, stretch mode. Y'all, it's so simple what I do here. Keep in mind, as your hair gets to certain lengths, your methods might change. Well, before my hair got to the length that it is right now, I would do a band, I would do band two knots to stretch it out, or I do flat twists to stretch it out. But you know, like my hair's a little bit longer, you know what I'm saying? It's a little bit. So I can do this low ponytail and I can braid it up and leave it like that for it to stretch. And that's what I've been doing. And it's it's so simple. I can actually wear it as a style, hence the reason I'm using this really, 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 really soft brush to like, you know, brush down my front because I plan to go out and I'm going to rock this hairstyle, okay? But yeah, that's all I do. I just braid it up, one single braid. You can do three braids, four braids. You can do twists at this point too if you want to. But again, you know, a little laziness is all up inside of me. So I do one good tight braid and I'm going to braid it until you see me get to the ends where you're going to see me twist it up. And that is it, y'all. I'll leave it like this until it's dry. And if I want to style it afterwards, I will. And my hair is stretched. Simple, right? Hope you found this helpful. Again, this is when, again, this is how I will do it. This is how I'll re-moisturize when I'm not in a protective style. And it's midweek. Now, normally, if I wasn't rocking, like this week has been all about middle part pull back ponytail for me that's just that's how I've been rocking it this whole week and it's so convenient because this can be a hairstyle for me or if I'm not feeling it I take my stocking cap throw this sucker on top and throw a wig on so it's pretty easy for me so yeah and this brings us to today's snapchat question today's question is going to lead into a future video that I plan to do so let me ask you what are your hair goals yep what are the goals you have for your natural hair and what is your game plan for reaching those goals okay go ahead and share comment below trust me your responses do help others so if you don't think your stuff is being read if you don't think that it's helping others girl sir think otherwise okay so go ahead and comment below what are your hair goals and what are you what are you planning to do to reach those goals go ahead and let it flow thanks y'all Hope you enjoyed today's video if you did please go ahead and help your girl out by hitting that subscribe button and make sure you hit the bell right next to it so you can be notified the next time that i am all up on your screen also if you're bored during the week come on and hang out with me on instagram snapchat facebook all of that all, all, all of that and i will catch you on the next one remember 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 my friend please be cool it's your to have healthy hair you have to do healthy things consistently. Do this. If I told you you were, if I told you you were, if I told you you were beautiful, beautiful. If I told you you were, if I told you you were beautiful, beautiful. If I told you you were, if I told you you were beautiful, beautiful.